we physicists have actually tried to describe civilization thousands, millions of years ahead of us, and we categorize them by energy. A type one civilization is a civilization that controls planetary power. They control the weather, earthquakes, volcanoes, they can modify them. Anything earthbound, they have the energy to control. That's type one. Type two civilization controls the energy of the sun directly. They harness the solar flares. They energize the entire solar system because they control the sun. That's type two. Type three is galactic. They roam the galactic space lanes. They've colonized the entire galaxy. Black holes, stars, supernovas, they roam the entire galaxy. Now on this scale of energy, what are we? Are we type one that control the weather, volcanoes, earthquakes? Are we type two that control solar flares and the energy of the entire sun? Are we type three that roam the galactic space lanes? No, we're type zero. We get our energy from oil and coal. That's dead plants. We're type zero. But we are about 100 years from becoming type one. What is the internet? The internet is the first type one technology to fall into this century. It is a planetary technology, the internet. What about the language of type one? Well, on the internet already, English and Mandarin Chinese are the two most popular languages on the internet. What about culture? We're seeing the beginning of planetary sports with the Olympics and with soccer. We see the beginning of a planetary music, youth culture, youth music, rap music, rock and roll. We're seeing the beginning of a type one culture in fashion, Gucci, Chanel. So we're beginning to see the beginning of a type one civilization right in front of us. But that's the danger. The most dangerous transition is between type zero to type one. Why? Because if we're type zero, we have all the savagery, all the brutality of our past. We came from the swamp just 300 years ago. 300 years ago, there was only magic, superstition, inquisitions, torture. That's the way it was just 300 years ago. And now we're headed toward type one. Every time I open the newspaper, I see the beginning of the birth of a type one civilization, a planetary civilization. Look at the pandemic. It's a planetary pandemic, but how do we deal with it? Globally, globally we did it and we're conquering it now. That was impossible just a hundred years ago during the 1918 Spanish flu outbreak. Now we can actually control outbreaks like this. So we're seeing the birth of a type one civilization, but it's dangerous because we now have nuclear weapons. We have the ability to create designer germs. We have the ability to alter the weather with global warming. Yep. So it's not clear whether we're gonna make the transition from type zero to type one, but this is the greatest transition in human history. We are privileged to be alive to see this transition from type zero to type one. Before we become type one, we have all the savagery of type zero. We came from the swamp. Think about it. Think of what life was like just a few hundred years ago. A life expectancy, for example, something as simple as that, was 30 years of age for most of human history. We lived in a savage, barbaric past, uh, just struggling to stay alive. And of course, having enemies was a very convenient way to keep the masses ha ha happy and contented. A look at the Roman Empire. Many attempts were made to try to create a civilization, but they all failed. Why did they fail? Because there was not enough wealth to go around. Poverty, sickness, disease. But now we have the Industrial Revolution, the Electric Revolution, the Computer Revolution, giving us enough wealth that we don't have to constantly fight for it. And the question is, can we negotiate this transition to type one? If we can, we're talking yeah. about an age of Aquarius. By the time we're type two, by the way, we are immortal. No, nothing known to science can destroy a type two civilization. Meteors can be deflected, asteroids can be blown up, weather can be modified, no more global warming problems. Even the sun, even if the sun explodes, they can leave the sun and colonize another star system. So by the time you're type two, you are immortal. 
The danger is, the most dangerous period is between type 0 to type 1 because we still have all the savagery of the past. Thanks for watching. If you liked this video, please hit the like button. If you want to see more videos, hit the subscribe button. And if you have something to say, please leave a comment.